Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Uncle Tubbs' Teeny Tiny House Book Club. I'm so happy you joined me for this one. Uh, we've got the macaw. Shh, he's sleeping. We know how the macaw gets. Ah, 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 and he tries to eat the phone. Oh, no, no, no. Then we've got the resident chicken clock. Hello, clocky. And we've got Skunky back there. And Skunky smells good. I don't know what I did. I switched the shampoo and skunky smells good. I hope you all are washing your hands all the time, please. All the time. It's good to be clean. Well, today we're going to break free from things and we're going to talk about letter writing. Because I think letter writing is really important now to stay in touch with your friends and your family. And you can even write me a letter if you like. All right. So I'm going to go over the parts of an informal personal letter all right and this book is about letters too oh but first who's out there let me see oh i see yeah let me look at oh i can't really bly bly winkler hello bly how are you good 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 she's up in westchester county and we've got kira and craig mcdonald and they are in rockaway Yes, Craig and Kira, how are ya? Oh, I know you watch Uncle Tubbs, that's wonderful. And of course, Kaylin, Hannah, hello, Kaylin. Hope you're well. All right, this is Giggle, Giggle, Quack, Quack. Oh, no relation to you there, Clucky. Doreen Cronin, and pictures by Betsy Lewin. Now, this is a pretty funny story. Farmer Brown was going on vacation. He left his brother Bob in charge of the animals. <laughs> I wrote everything down for you. Just follow my instructions and everything will be fine, said Farmer Brown. But keep an eye on Duck. He's trouble. He looks a little like trouble. Father Brown thought he heard giggles and snickers as he drove away, but he couldn't be sure. <laughs> Bob gave Duck a good long stare and went inside. He read the first note. Tuesday night is pizza night. Not the frozen kind. The hens prefer anchovies. <laughs> and they're laughing. <laughs> I see you see Ducky with the pen there, right? Or the pencil. All right. And look at that. 29 minutes later, there was hot pizza in the barn. Bob checked on the animals before he went to bed. Everything was just fine. Wednesday's bath day for the pigs. Wash them with my favorite bubble bath and dry them off with my good towels. Remember, they have very sensitive skin. <laughs> Oh, look at them. Bob had all the pigs washed in no time. <laughs> I don't think Farmer Brown wanted that. Farmer Brown called home on Wednesday night to check in. Did you feed the animals like I wrote in the note? He asked. Done, replied Bob, counting seven empty pizza boxes. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And look at the, look at Duck, sharpening a pencil. Hmm, Bob hasn't figured it out, have you? Did you see my note about the pigs? Asked Farmer Brown. All taken care of, said Bob pr proudly. Are you keeping a very close eye on Duck? Farmer Brown said. Bob gave Duck a good long stare. Duck was too busy sharpening his pencil to notice. Keep him in the house, ordered Far Farmer Brown. 
he's a bad influence on the cows. Oh, he's a bad influence on the cows. <laughs> oh, and they're all laughing there. <laughs> Thursday night is movie night. It's the cow's turn to pick. <laughs> Bob was in the kitchen popping corn. Oh, did I skip a page here? No, I didn't. Bob was in the kitchen popping corn just as the animals settled in to watch the sound of music. The phone rang. The only thing Farmer Brown heard on the other end was <laughs> quack, 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 quack. moo. <laughs> wink, wink, wink. Duck! Screamed Father Brown. And Duck is there with a note. It's for you, Bob. <laughs> and of course, Farmer Brown comes rushing home. Well, that was a funny story. All right, everybody. And he wrote them notes. Now, I don't think Duck really knew how to write notes. So, you know, if he was addressed uh, personally. So we're going to go over the parts of a letter. The parts of a letter. And here they are. So first, you have the heading. And sometimes you can put your name and your address up here. But most people just put the date. So you can put the date. Then you have the greeting. The greeting is always dear, and I put Uncle Tubbs just in case you want to write me a letter. You know, I do get fan mail, and I want to thank uh, my dear cousin, my dear sister from another mister, uh, Amy in North Carolina, who sent me a beautiful note. That was really lovely. So if you want to write me a note, have your parents uh, ask me, and I will uh, give them a direct message for where to send it to, okay? Because you need permission from your parents. <laughs> All right, the next part of the letter is the body. And look, I wrote, how are you? How's Clucky? Clucky, how are you? My favorite books are princess books. Will you read some? Well, maybe I will. Maybe I will. And then the last parts are the complimentary closing, which I wrote regards. I like, I like saying regards. And the very last part is your signature. And you can just say your name. You know, and, and if you do write me, I will write back. I'm very good about writing back. Okay? All right, everybody. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. I hope you enjoyed uh, being with me. Toodaloo, toodaloo, toodaloo. Your turn. Toodaloo, toodaloo, toodaloo.